Hey there guys and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. You know this was actually part 18 but part 17 I did not get a single shine sprite in that part because I just kept failing in every mission I did so I figured you know let's just axe that one completely. I mean there's no progress made it would just be a waste of my time to narrate it and upload it and waste your time for watching it. Because nothing gets done and crap. Uh, I kind of failed at some missions in Sirena Beach and Beyond the Village. But don't worry, I'll be revisiting those in later episodes. For now, we're going to Noki Bay for episode 4, I think it is. Which is called Ely Mouth's Dentist. Yeah, we all know Mario's a doctor, but what we didn't know is that he also apparently has a degree in dentistry. Is there anything this Italian man cannot do? He's a doctor, he's a dentist, he's a tennis player, he plays golf, soccer, basketball. Pretty much every sport there is, he's a race car driver. He's a plumber, he's an action hero. He's an astronaut, he's a... Did I say doctor already? And now he is also a dentist. Mario is kinda like Donald Duck. Donald Duck has also pretty much done every job there is, except Mario succeeds at them where Donald Duck only fails. Wow, did I really just make an analogy between Mario and Donald Duck? I never figured that was ever gonna happen. Who knows, my channel is full of surprises. Okay, who's the spring down because we need to get to that crazy old fisherman. Alrighty, is he up here? Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, fisherman, what's your problem? You look like you're ready. The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel. Let's move it into the thingy and it's nursing some nasty cavities. Alright. So, the eel thing's down there. The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use as an entrance. And dive to the bottom of the ocean and clean his teeth. Well, I guess that's kind of a new objective. Instead of kill the creature or beat him to a pulp, clean his teeth. Because, you know, killing him totally wouldn't make him go away. But I guess if we killed the eel, he would like rot down here and it would only pollute the water even worse. So we'll have to clean his teeth. And this mission is a pretty tricky one. Because you're underwater and there's no way to regain your oxygen. Like you can't go and gasp for air somewhere. So you can only recover life by getting coins. But by the time you're, you've like sunken low enough to even get close to him. You'll probably already have like one third of your health gone. And then what you do is you simply get into his mouth and hose his teeth until they're all sparkly clean. I wish I had a little Italian guy to clean my teeth. Like just get him in there and hose it out. And then he swallows you and spits you back out and it causes quite some damage. I really need to go and get some coins now. I really don't like the underwater controls for, the, for Mario Sunshine. Or at least for these like where they're wearing that fishbowl because you cannot move down by yourself like sure you can let gravity like pull you down but that's about it you can only like use flood to get up and move a bit but that's pretty much all you're limited to great got another two of his teeth done and then he starts to suck you in no 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 I don't want to please no 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 get out get out get out yes nailed it but my oxygen starting to run low already so we'll have to go back down to the bottom and grab some coins for healing yeah wouldn't that be awesome if scuba diving worked like that in real life you're underwater you're running out of oxygen you know what I'll just grab my wallet out of my pocket touch some coins and I'll be my lungs will fill with air immediately if only life were like a video game if it had cheat codes and stuff Okay, I think we only need two more teeth, so we're getting there. And I'm actually not n having nearly as much problems with this mission as I did when I was a kid. Because this was like 
pretty much every level had a mission that I simply could not beat. This one was the mission for Noki Bay. But I'm actually doing pretty well so far. Come on, no, no. What I don't get is why does he try to swallow me if we're helping him? Maybe like his teeth are sensitive and he can't handle the cold water that floods spraying on them. That seems to be a decent explanation. Come on. Can't aim freaking flood down far enough. Oh look he has a golden tooth. He's a gangsta eel. No 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 no. Ah well. Flood feels fright. Flood you're a machine. How can you feel emotions or feelings? That's not possible. He's like Pinocchio. Flood wants to be a real boy. Except he's a backpack that shoots water. I mean, a marionette wanting to be a boy I can kind of understand, but not a backpack full of water. Like a portable water tank, that just makes no sense. Come on, can you probably use these coins over here? Man, Mario controls awful in this stage, but I think I already mentioned that. Okay, hover up, get in his mouth. Where is that last tooth? Over there. Maybe if you can just get above him and like hose it off with the hover nozzle, that'll clean it. Eh, don't worry about my life bar anymore. Because I can probably... Oh, he's going back down again. Come on. Yeah, you start spinning like crazy. But that is one wacky eel, like he has two faces. Like he has one set of eyes on the top of his head and one set of eyes on the bottom. And I think they have like different eyebrows. So maybe this eel is like two-headed. Or something. One end seems to have like these angry eyebrows and the other kind of has like these... Like Spongebob eyelashes. And the other one has like Wario eyebrows. Yeah, Spongebob and Wario. Okay, there we go. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Yes, children, you should always take proper care of your teeth. You should brush after every meal and use dental floss and all that stuff. And then the eel burrows deeper into the ground and gives us a shine sprite, which I guess within that golden tooth is. And it's over there. Now, what would really suck if is if the fight with the eel left you so damaged that you die of oxygen deprivation before you can get to the shine sprite. That would be the ultimate insult to injury, most definitely. But there we go, we have it, shine sprite number 44. Noki Bay is one step closer to being completed. Nice. Alright, where shall we go next? Where do I feel like going today? Um, yeah, we'll just go do more Noki Bay. I mean, we're here anyway. Il Piantissimo Surf Swim. Yep, this is the final Il Piantissimo level. After the one in Pianta Village and Gelato Beach, he has also found his way here. And he wants to challenge us for a swimming race this time around, I guess. Well, I can take him on anytime, anywhere. Bring it on, little man. With his boxing gloves and his bucket on his head. And as always, he wants to race you to that flag over there. Now, this one is pretty damn easy. He takes 40 seconds, that's really long. And you can pretty much just cheat. Pretty easily. Like, I don't really know where he is, but... I don't see him, I guess he's behind me somewhere. But yeah, look at that. He takes 40 seconds and I'm like already there in 20. Okay, there we go, 21 seconds. And hey, look over there. Look who it is, it's Mr. Slowpoke. Jeez, man. I've been waiting for a freaking hour. Ooh, ha, huh? wheeze, you're quite speedy, you're like a fish. You may not be a slow champ chomper, I took you four. What? Oh well, never mind. Just 
give us the shine sprite and get the hell out of here. But yeah, that's the last we'll see of that creep in the game, because he's not in any more missions that I know of. And shine sprite number 45. Sweet. Alright. That one was nice and easy. So, where shall we go next? How about... Another trip to the Noki Bay? You got it, coming right up. Episode 6, The Shell's Secret. You mean, like, the secret of that gas station brand? Like, I don't know if they have those over there in the States, but... At least in my country, there's, like, this big... Gas station brand called Shell. And I always fill up my car with gas there, because it's the closest one. Simply. Because, I mean... Just going to get gas is not nearly as efficient if you have to, like, drive a crap ton of miles to get to the nearest gas station. So I just go to the nearest one. And it just happens to be one of, like, the better brands there is. Alright, can I probably... Yeah, you can kind of cheat in this mission. You can bounce on the ropes to, like, give you a little altitude boost. So you can probably, like, use that in combination with the hover nozzle to get up here faster. And let's see. I think the shell we need to get into is... Yeah, that's it. So they want you to, like, go all around and stuff, but you can probably just cheat your way up there like this. Hooray for cheats or shortcuts. As always, he snatches Flood. I don't know, like, wouldn't it be much more efficient for him if he just didn't give him back? How does Mario even get Flood back at the end of these secrets? Because we never see Shadow Mario showing up and returning it. He just has Flood on his back again when he returns to the main hub. But yeah, this one looks kind of tricky, and I must say it is one of the harder secrets in the game. And yeah, first I'm going to try pounding these nails. Whoa. Careful, Mario. Because I don't have any more lives left because of my messing stuff up in the part that got cut and we'll never see the light of day. But I can really use a 1-up, so... Well... Oh, not even a single coin? Stupid nail. I will stomp your brethren for that, for your insolence. Does this one hold a 1-up? Nope, just a coin. Damn it. Okay, one last chance. Nothing. Okay. Here you got this little spinning thing, which should not be any problem. I mean, if you're any decent at Mario games, that one will not give you any problems. But here's some more nails. So let's pound them. I don't know, but I think ground pounding those would probably hurt like hell. That would probably end you up with a broken tailbone or something. One of those rudimentary things we still have left from when we evolved from the monkeys. Just like uh, whales apparently still have like leg bones in their body somewhere. Like hidden underneath the fat. It's like... Yeah, we all know whales don't have legs, but they still have leg bones. Even though they're like really small and underdeveloped. They're just not completely gone from their, uh, like, DNA. Just like humans still have a very, very short tail. That's also where, like, the, uh, the phrase chasing tail comes from, because, you know... Where is your tail? It's on your ass. So when you're chasing tail, you're pretty much chasing after ass. Or looking for poon, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Alright, we need to go up there, huh? For some reason, I don't... I f think that slope's gonna be slippery. So, you know what? F that, we're just gonna bounce and get up there. Nice. And this secret is literally riddled with nails. Like, whoever made this left a few of them things sticking around. Let's see, how do we get up there? Oh, just like that. This one actually requires some pretty tricky jumping. I mean, not so far, but it will get trickier. Like here, you need to pull off this crazy double wall jump thing. Also, none of these things give you freaking one-ups. 
because you're not gonna get up there with a regular wall jump, it's just too high. And that did not help my cause either. Get up there, there you go. See, that one is just too high to reach with the regular flip jump. So, uh, can we... No, I don't really think that's gonna get us anywhere. Uh, now, I, yeah, we needed to do some tricky double wall jump here. Go there and there and then go here. Yay. And here you kind of need to do the same, except the landing platform is much smaller. So this is an even more tricky one. Okay, flip and go. Oh, no, no. I thought I was going to wall jump. That's why I pressed A again. Damn it. Shit. And I was just doing so well, and now we have to do the entire damn thing over again. Which I really don't feel like. Okay, get a move on. Screw the nails, we're just gonna make a run for it. Because that's how we do things. Oh crap, no. Well, I guess that's how we do things. Oh, what? Game over. No! Even though you don't lose anything when you uh, get a game over, you just get returned to the main hub like you would if you fail a mission. So, yeah, no biggie, we'll just do that one in the next part of Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs>